missing 411. The Uintas can be a scary place, with bears and bobcats, trails that aren't always well kept, and folklore that dates back thousands of years. Our mission was to go in, find the girl, and get out. It was late into the night when we arrived at the building that still haunts my dreams. It was two stories and surrounded by a perfectly circular clearing. No leaves, no animals. In search and rescue we have a phrase, if it's clean, it's inhabited. Typically this phrase rings comfort or tells us we're on the right track, but that night it didn't bring either. The building was a fairly typical suburban two-story home except for the fact that it was missing the entire right side and had that look that made you think it would fall over at any moment. With a steady hand, I pointed to a body lying at its front door and bolted towards it, thinking it was the girl we were there to find, but by the time I arrived at the door, she was gone. I ran through the house, frantically shouting and searching for the woman who had been lying there, to no avail. I looked out the side of the house where there should have been a wall and saw the thing. A tall, dark shadow crept through the woods. Although almost human, its limbs were too long, and its face too hungry, its gait too determined. I fled the clearing with a headache as if I had just stepped into the midday sun after a week inside. Checking the time, I headed back to the rendezvous point, my body on autopilot, refused to turn around despite the sounds of being followed. I was asked to make a full report, but all I could think of was where is the girl? My lieutenant informed me that she was badly hurt and found in quad G8 about an hour and a half ago, but was not in critical condition. No one asked where my senior had gone. No one ever asked. On reflection, I'm Maxwell Cummings.